Nerd Reactor, roll out. What's up, Reactorites? John here, and it's time to talk about Marvel Studios' Moon Knight. This is a series starring Oscar Isaac as Moon Knight, and this series is probably the darkest and scariest and the most brutal for a Marvel Studios project. And with this, we have Oscar Isaac. He stars as Moon Knight, and he is gifted these powers thanks to the Egyptian god Khonshu. And with this, we're actually being introduced to Egyptian mythology. Uh, but with this one, it's different compared to Thor, where it, with Thor, it introduces us to Norse mythology. But the gods are from another world, and they just happen to visit us. But with this one, these Egyptian gods are actually in our world and it feels like they can just shape things and really change things in our world making them the most powerful beings on earth so far in the mcu and i was able to check out the first four episodes of the series and yeah marvel studios really pushes the limits to give us this dark and brutal world and with the series, you have Oscar Isaac. He's playing Stephen Grant. He's a British museum gift shop employee. And every night he straps himself up. He's been going to different places. He can't really control what's happening to his body. Because as it turns out, he has dissociative identity disorder. And that means there's other personalities inside him. And so one of them is Mark Spector, an elite soldier. And to make things worse for Stephen Grant, there is also the superhero by the name of Moon Knight that also resides in him. And Moon Knight is the one that's the the avatar for Khonshu, the, the, the fist of Khonshu. And with Moon Knight... Oscar Isaac, he truly is the star of the show, and his performances as different identities are hilarious and engaging. As Steven, he's socially awkward, but endearing. And as Mark, he's serious and focused. And it's a combination that creates uh, some really fun moments and superhero quirks for these characters that's all just trying to live with each other and trying to balance things out. And what makes the show really different from a lot of the other Marvel Studios project is that it feels very intimate with a smaller cast. And it's been a trend for Marvel Studios to really pack in a lot of characters. Uh, but with Moon Knight, I was able to really feel like I'm digging deeper into who this character is, especially with this focus on Oscar Isaacs as these many different personalities. And for the supporting cast, we have Ethan Hawke, who plays Arthur Harrow a cult leader who serves Amit, an evil goddess. The thought of Hawk playing a villain is very intriguing to me, but after watching the episodes, his dialogue and performances felt bland, not really interesting, not really exciting. And then there's Mae Kalamawe as Layla, and she is someone from Spectre's past who helps both Steven and Spectre in the series. And she plays an adventurer who can handle herself, but she shares the same fate as Hero in terms of being a dull character. And I just feel like the uh, characters, they just weren't written in an interesting way. And I think that's due to the series really trying to focus on the different personalities to really make Oscar Isaac shine as these characters. So there are other Marvel shows and films that have really pushed how dark things can go for example daredevil which was on netflix and now it's on disney plus and also blade uh, but with moon knight marvel studios is pushing the boundaries of how scary and brutal things can get and uh, with the way things are going i'm pretty sure we're going to see even darker and crazier things in the uh, marvel cinematic universe and with Oscar Isaac, he's charming and he's wonderful as a tortured individual with DID. And the smaller cast allows audiences to really focus on his adventures. And just seeing the Egyptian mythology in the MCU, it's a sight to see. And 
Kanshu is a marvelous character opposite of Moon Knight, and it does remind me of the relationship between Eddie Brock and Venom in the Venom movie. On the other hand, Ethan Hawke as Harrow just isn't an interesting villain, and the story loses a bit of steam in the middle section. Um, but yeah, these are my thoughts for the four, first four episodes of Moon Knight. And uh, you know, once the episodes come out, let me know what your thoughts are on the comments below. With that said, I'm John, and I'll see you guys next time.